back home. I have to say hi to the cats first, but I'm going to put this booze by the tree. We'll open it up Christmas Eve. So that will go there. We've got the Baileys. We've got the Appletons. I'll have to get some Coke. I'll do the Baileys and coffee for sure. But uh, I'll put this... I've already put all my stuff away. And uh, I'll go into the recycling. We got some stuff wrapped yesterday. Tree's looking mighty fine. Somebody asked if uh, the cats mess with our tree, and they don't. Uh, in the past, when, we're, when Sonny and Louie were younger, they would definitely knock uh, ornaments and stuff off the tree. And uh, Louie would often lie under the tree when we'd, we used to have like um, a skirt that went around there. I think it's upstairs still. And uh, he would lie under there and Sonny would sometimes, I think Louie used to go up and he's the one who I think bent a lot of the, the branches and wrecked the tree. But uh, these cats, uh, actually when I first put this up, he uh, couldn't be found for about six hours. So he did not like the tree being there, but now he doesn't care. He knows. I'm not sure if it's because it's a brand new tree and maybe he was used to the other one. I don't know. Right, Ninja? Are you a Christmas kitty? Are you a Christmas kitty? You got some fluff on your face? You got the fluff on your face? Huh? Other people were asking about the lights behind my TV. And uh, it's called Philips Hue. So this is our internet. This is the Philips Hue. I believe it's called a bridge. So you need to buy that when you buy Philips Hue stuff. And you only need one of these for your whole house, I believe. And here is light. Let's call this number two. And uh, there's many things you can do with it. You can lie them down. You can move that uh, stand to the middle uh, and have it horizontal as opposed to vertical. Uh, you don't even need the stand if you want. See how it's got a bend in the back, so you can actually have it on an angle, just lying on its side. So there's lots of functionality to it, but I like putting it right there, and then I face it towards this wall. So this lights up this wall, and then light number two is over there, and that lights up that wall. And uh, I can't turn it on right now because... I operate it with the phone. Um, I don't think I can even tell Siri to do it. Let me just turn it on. Hang on. So the uh, Christmas tree, there's a little switch down here. So the Christmas tree is just plugged in to this thing. This is what I bought for the, just to be able to turn the Christmas tree on and off with my phone. I have two of those. And the other one is an, a Christmas present to me from Carol. And I'm going to plug it into my coffee maker. So the coffee maker turns on every morning at 8 o'clock. There is my bedroom light. And again, it's just the bulb that is Wi-Fi to the bridge. You can't tell that they're really on at the moment because it is so bright because the sunny is in the window and uh, using up all the space. So that is the Hue Go. It's um, basically like a half a sphere, but it also has a little bit of a stand on the bottom. And uh, you can have it sit like this. You can have it sit like this. And you can't, it has an internal battery on it too. Um, so you can actually unplug it and then move it anywhere you want where there's no plug. And as long as the battery holds out. So that's one of my lights I use for the live show. And then this one is plugged. This actually has a, a hue bulb in it. So I can turn that on and off. And this one and this one are also hue. This is a pink. Uh, you can change them to any color you want. Uh, these specific bulbs. This is just a regular white bulb. So you can't turn that. But uh, you can turn these things. This is pink. If I can. So bright that uh, let me just turn it down can i turn it down there we go so that's nice pink and over here is the blue and i usually have them facing away and they light up the walls as well and that's basically it and i just bought four new bulbs and uh these are just white light 
And uh, so again, if you get the ones that can change colors to any color you want, seriously, I think it's got 16 million colors that you can choose from. Uh, but these are just white. And those, if I had bought a, one with the different colors, way more expensive. But these ones are, I think they're, I don't know, 40 bucks, maybe. Maybe a little bit more than $40. Uh, so I'm going to use these on the garage and out on at the front. I want them all to be timers because when we're, we go up to the cottage or whatever, uh, I always have to like go onto my phone and uh, turn off any lights on and off in the house. But it'd be nice to have the uh, garage and the front light post out front just come on and off whenever we want. This is going to be a fun little test. I'm going to uh, actually try to hook one of these up live uh, to the garage. So I'm going to put the head strap on for the GoPro. Uh, it'll just be so much easier to be able to work with my both hands and open the box and get out a bulb and hook it up to the um, the Hue Go uh, app. So let me go back one step. So that was that was the Hue Go app. See what I mean with one hand and all this stuff. So this is the Hue Go app. You touch it once and again you can turn on and off everything that you want. Uh, again that was, you know, I could turn on, whoops. Another quick thing before we go any further, let me just show you quickly. So I turned on the uh, lights behind the TV there. And now I can also now change the colors to Christmas. I already set this up. You can do bright, dimmed, reading, uh, tropical, uh, twilight. So it just has all these presets. So if you know what the mood's going to be, then that's what you do. I also have a Christmas one where it's, uh, the left is red, right is green. And so now it's all set up. Now it's our Christmas lighting. So you're watching a Christmas movie, you can do that. It's just a super, and then if you don't want that color, you can go in and change it to any color you want. Just drag it around and see that thing on the bottom is changing to blue, to red, to yellow. And you just put it to wherever you want. I like it green. And then you just make sure it's saved. Time out. All right, I'm gonna put the headlamp on and we're gonna try and set up one of these lights for the garage. Let's hope this works really well with the headlamp on. Again, I can't see what I'm shooting. I did like a quick little test just to see uh, through the GoPro app what I'm looking at, but it should be okay. So again, you take out one of these bulbs. There's like uh, Wi-Fi connectability inside. There's four of them. Again, I can't remember exactly how much it's gonna cost. So I'm gonna bring both of these outside. We'll just do one for now. All right. All right, so I've taken all these out. Need to take this bulb out. Put the new bulb in. And I think these are good up to minus 20. Uh, and as long as they're protected by a, a thing like this, I should really take these inside and clean them, but no time right now. Let's put that right there. One. Two. Three. Okay. So, I think we can turn this on and off. Okay, so it is in the on position. Okay, so we're gonna try and add a light, and that's the light that is on. We're gonna do that, add lights, uh, use serial number, or search. So searching for a new light, and hopefully it will see that one. So it found it, and I'm gonna actually call it garage light one because it's gonna be one two three and i'll say done save it's just a standard bulb save and then oh i can also dim it too look at that so now it's at the brightest 
and I'm not sure if you guys can see it out there. I can turn it up and down, which is really cool. And uh, done. So I could do the same thing with the other three lights. And uh, again, I can just turn them. I can just go back to, it should add it to a room. Um, add new room or zone. We're gonna call it a room. So we have garage right there, boom. Say done, unassigned lights. Garage light one, done, garage. So now I can turn the lights on off, that is off. The other ones are on because they're not here lights yet, but I'll be able to turn these on and off. I'll also be able to put a timer on that uh, under automations. I can click automations, find the, uh, I could add the garage as an automation and say, I want it to go come on at, let's say five o'clock at night or whenever it gets dark, shut off at one o'clock in the morning. And then I'll never have to worry about the lights again uh, until they burn out over time. And that's it guys. I'm going to add two more lights and then my garage will be done. And again, I'm not sure if there's a serial number on the, on these things. Yeah, there's a serial number. So I guess I could scan that and uh, enter that one in, uh, or I can do it the way I did, worth a search. Managed to do the other two, not a problem. So now we have a garage. All three lights are set on there. If I press this button, it's on, and then they go on the garage, all three of them. I also set up an automation, and automation's this number two button, and I have a timer set for a garage and garage comes on at 4.30 and uh, shuts off at 12.30, repeat every single day. You can have it randomized if you wanted it to. Uh, it does everything and anything you could possibly imagine. Shut it off for now and it'll come on at 4.30 today. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this Philips Hue little uh, introduction to Philips Hue and, and why I have such cool lighting behind my, my TV. So thanks for asking that question. And that gave me an idea for a video just to show you guys all the lighting in my house, installing new lights. I think my buddy Paul said he'd rather have the uh, color lights because at different times of the year, Halloween or whatever, you can change the colors uh, on the fly and you don't have to go up and put different bulbs in or whatever. So he opted for the uh, color lights. I just want white lights on my garage and I'm gonna put this one probably out and the light post out front. All right guys, thanks for hanging out with me today and checking out my Philips Hue setup. And uh, again, if you have the money and you wanna have some cool lighting in your house, give it a shot.